evening everyone from living from his heart I want to talk about something that I'm very passionate about about the heart you know we are human beings on purpose God fashioned us this way and I think a serious drawback in the church and of course not every church we're all about the spirit we are spirit beings, absolutely, and our soul has been saved, but our heart needs to be resuscitated. Our heart needs to be revived. The spirit of Yeshua, the Holy Spirit, lives within our hearts, and God wants our hearts healed. And our hearts do not get healed when we get saved. Suddenly, all the trauma and all the brokenness and all the pain and all the devastation doesn't disappear. Yeshua is the beginning of heart healing if we want it. We partner with God and we need to say, Lord, come and heal these devastated places in my heart. Because the truth is, you will not be able to even be there for yourself, child of God. You will not even be able to acknowledge your heart, much less acknowledge your neighbor's heart. How can we be genuinely authentically compassionate to another child of god let's say you go to church on a regular basis how can you be compassionate to your neighbor next to you when you haven't even embraced your own heart you know it's as if we grow up we know we have to grow up life moves on but most of us have not learned how to embrace pain no one wants to run into the face of pain and say, pain, come and get me. But nonetheless, if you're alive and breathing, you've had some kind of pain in your life, some more than others. But nevertheless, pain is pain. And so I think what many of us have done is we've thrown that little boy or that little girl that lives within us that is so broken hearted and devastated. It's like we've thrown them into a closet We've shut the door, we've locked the door, and we've thrown away the key, and we kept moving on. So it's like we've split. We've split, and God wants to put us back together again. So the adult knows the gospel. The adult un understands that God loves me. But God loves me, and here is another story. This is so critical. You know, I've used this example before. You could be an evangelist on fire for God, winning thousands, tens of thousands, millions to Messiah Yeshua, but you don't have one intimate, emotionally intimate relationship in your life because your heart is broken. And somewhere along the line, you've just made a vow that you don't even know about. I will never let anyone hurt me again. And your heart door is closed and you have no close relationships. Many of us have been in this position. And God uses other people that have gone before us that are have more heart healing to be a part of that awesome journey of heart healing. I know that he has in my life. Hallelujah. And so my greatest weakness has become my greatest strength, and I am an advocate of the heart. I've said before, I got saved at 29 years of age. I realized I had been living on automatic pilot. I was warm and friendly, but I was not connected to my own heart, much less anybody else's I might have thought that I was. So if Yeshua, his spirit, lives within our heart, our hearts better become alive, resuscitated, healed and restored and the only way that we can is to say god please come i can be born again but my heart is shut down so lord would you come and heal those dry devastated places in my heart would you make me alive in my heart so i can be there not only for myself but for other people so if you've been minimized by leadership in your church of your heart has been minimized and you've been hurt it's because they don't have healing let's face it when people minimize you and your heart it's because they've done it to themselves so if we could understand that we can only do what we're capable of doing right true compassion comes when we've extended it to ourselves and we can only have compassion for ourselves when god has come into our lives and we've allowed him into our hearts 
in a seriously real way and we've allowed him to come and heal those broken places i hear the shofar in my spirit do 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 exclamation point again god cares about our hearts and ministry is not the most important thing to god absolutely not it's our heart condition and there are many healing uh, biblical healing programs uh, that we can incorporate into our lives where we can receive this healing god wants us whole heal and restored other people don't make us whole god can use them i mean in relationships people get married and they're broken and both people are broken you can't heal the other person you got to get healing from god that's right so let's get on the healing train today let's realize that ministry is not the most important thing but having a healed heart and so what do you do if you're one of those people who's thrown that little boy or girl in the closet shut the door lock the door and thrown away the key well if you realize that that's possibly what you did you talk to that little boy or girl inside and say i'm sorry i'm sorry that i threw you away i threw your heart away i didn't know how to embrace that pain and i'll never betray you again i'll never turn away from you again i love you you know we're split many of us are split we need to be integrated and that's a good place to begin let's get on the healing train again our souls have been saved but our hearts need to be healed so that we can be everything god has purposed us to be and we can truly be authentically genuine and compassionate and we're not just talking but what we say is really the truth that we are genuinely compassionate and we genuinely care and we are we've become emotionally available because how many believers running after god for decades burning out for yeshua hiding behind yeshua not hiding in yeshua but hiding behind yeshua that's a negative thing yeah 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 i'm so busy in ministry and all of this and their hearts are broken and have never been healed do you think that that gives god glory i don't think so i believe god is glorified when we say i know my heart is broken and lord with you if i'm real with you i'm telling you <clears throat> what's going on please come heal my heart so that i can be restored i can truly be that new creation and i can be used like broken bread and poured out wine broken bread and poured out wine is being expended for the lord and being a blessing to other people it doesn't mean getting burnt out and it doesn't mean broken hearted and the broken hearted it is is what is negative that is not a blessing to us to anybody else certainly not to the lord father come would you come and heal those broken devastated places in my heart all we have to do is ask him come and heal my heart heal me oh lord and i will be healed it says in the book of jeremiah he is the great physician but we need to partner with him and he's not coming in to do that unless we invite him because the scripture says he's a gentleman so i'm praying for you today friend my heart is to be real is to be genuine is to be compassionate is to be transparent i want to encourage you and inspire you to take the mask off and tell the truth to god and be real with other people that god puts in your life to be an inspiration to others let's get healed together in the name of yeshua amen